Okay, so today we are going to be talking about the latest update on the Japan COVID situation and I'm sorry guys if I'm late by one day for the videos however now I'm gonna be talking about this and I've been quite busy recently so <clears throat> yeah but now Japan have the COVID case in Japan have been have reduced significantly from the last time that I see or from last week I think last week it was around 8,000 it's still very high but now it was half of it now it has been really good at managing the COVID situation in Japan and especially in Tokyo it has reduced significantly towards 600 cases I think today it's a good sign that this state of emergency now is working unlike the last time when it, they just impose it and people start like just go out like that and now it works and I don't know why it works but it just works <clears throat> but one of the important thing that is currently been talking we've been seeing is that Japan has now <clears throat> re eased the restriction or quarantine periods for some of the countries like Russia, part of Russia, Finland, Ireland, UK, I think, and more of them. So they have been, unlike before, when they have to be quarantined for like four, ten days, I think three days, in the hotel. So they now they only need to just quarantine in a home, like that home isolation, and for few six six countries, I think, like Indonesia, here, yes, I think, I don't know then. Yeah, yeah, something about that, but <clears throat> they have been reducing the quarantine period from 14 days towards 3 days in the hotel. <clears throat> and we can see that all of this has been working and a lot of it has been a positive sign that maybe, just maybe, Japan will open it up its border again. It, it might be possible, especially next month when you look at every situation. State of emergency has been working, the COVID cases have been going down significantly, and then the third one, the, <clears throat> the ease on the restriction of quarantine, like that. And those three, I would say, might open up for a student, for business, and of that, in hope that people can apply for a visa and border can be open immediately i would see it next month might be a possible in october i would say and for me personally if it would i would rather it open next month than november because it's been too long let's say <clears throat> if it has been open in october then that's mean that i can go and everyone else can go especially the one stuck from last year or from april they cannot go now they can go i'm hope but now i'm still hopeful that it i can go that people can all can go from any part of the country and can at least meet up someday if you if you want let's just say in I, i'm in osaka but if anyone who is living in osaka or going to osaka one day who have ever experienced like stuck in their in the countries their own countries like for six months one year three months let's just say maybe you can have a meeting and talk about how is the experience about it but then <clears throat> personally this is already a good telltale sign of or not for travel but for like let's just say for just students like that students and business like that for tourism, I would still suggest that it might be a next year's thing because Japan, the, the, the thing about Japan is they are very cautious. They don't want to make any mistakes. Even though they have already made one, they, but they don't want to make, they do their own mistakes. So the, what they do, they will be very cautious about opening it. But for student and business, my prediction might be next month. And I'm really hopeful for that, even though I might be wrong. I really wish and hope that next month it will be open and 
visas can be done next month and everyone can go there next month so at least you know it, it's safe to say that next month is the best month to open it up for student but then for tourism i would say next year i would say around spring i would say <clears throat> spring might be the good one you know good one for to maybe try to book your tickets or maybe yes, as if if you are still a bit cautious maybe in the summertime or in the fall but for students this fall i think winter might not but fall fall might be the time the the best time that it will be open and especially when the olympic is done and dusted now and but but like this there's also a lot of website about these things like uh, websites about this association that also supports the students also the twitter on twitter is out of support also movement about that like that and lots of positive that I have been seeing about students and business as I say. Especially students who are still stuck cannot apply for a visa even though they have their own certificate of eligibility or COE, but then still stuck because they cannot apply visa, cannot go because of no border still closed like that. <clears throat> but now we have hope. And even though it's still Hi, but I would say it's there's still hope. State of emergency last week they still extends. I do wish that next week it would not be extended anymore because you know it's you know business are dying, especially in Japan, and people also want to live for to to feed their own families like that. And it's difficult to open business, especially in Japan currently when pandemic is going on. And with such an influx in students and people who who's not tourists but uh, people who just stuck at their own country to come to Japan, it might revitalize the business a little bit. <clears throat> like it can help a lot in business actually, because these people come and they would go go towards these businesses to eat and to let's just say do anything as it's some of, lot of most of them i would say it might be in for the first time like business can be revitalized as long as they can hold up until the border opens again for student at least and they could <clears throat> look around to promote this towards students like that and for the tourism they could be hopeful that next year, at least I would say next year, the fastest I would say is spring. And what I would say for wind, summer, and fall might be also possible. But if spring is the best time actually for for the tourism tourism to be open. Yeah, but I think that's that's the thing. But now that I really wish that, and I do hope and. Like if I have someone inside of inside if I have an insider information for the immigration or visas, then I might be able to tell you guys. But since I don't have this kind of information, then I wouldn't know anything. But I do hope that it would open in October for students, not for tourism or traveler, but for students and businesses like that especially students because you you can you could see in fast of students coming in i think if they would be opening on october next month people who are stuck in april and in july can just directly go in in october i don't i don't know whether they would allow it because it's quite a scary situation for them especially when they want to allow it in at least you know there's people from all or all around the countries will be coming in and hotels will be fully booked or let's just say for quarantine they would be fully booked and over the demand and that's how and that's where the situation could get worse or better 
if it gets worse, they would close it back up. But if if it will, if it gets better, then they would be still opening and a lot more students to go in. I would say. And that's the thing. The reason why tourism, I would say, it's for next year is because of the influx of students might bring a positive impact on the COVID cases number or might bring negative impact on the COVID cases number. By positive, I mean is that the COVID cases would be stable and go down even more and that's a good sign and which means that businesses can also also have a good signs that it could be continue opening up like that and in countries can, can be opening up too so but i think that's it for now guys hopefully you guys like this video and subscribe and share this for more future videos and like this videos too for more future videos too let's say but then hopefully you guys like this video share and subscribe and see you guys next time bye bye